Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is Fabian Gerlinghaus. He is co-founder and CEO at Solaris. Fabian, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me today. Judy, it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you for having us. My pleasure. So now, Fabian, let's start off by talking about the company. Tell me about Solaris. Cell therapy are uh, the next breakthrough in modern medicine and cure previously untreatable diseases, such as very aggressive blood cancers often found in children. So we've seen children get cured from their blood cancer uh, by cell therapies. That's a massive breakthrough, but unfortunately, because this is personalized medicine, every dose for every patient is made individually to order for that patient. So that means that uh, it's very difficult, uh, it's actually impossible to make these cell therapies at large scale with the manual methods and benchtop equipment that exists today in the industry. And as a result, we see about 20% of patients who are eligible for FDA approved CAR T cell therapies that are on the market dying on the wait list. So that's a medical emergency. Solaris is the world's first integrated development manufacturing organization or IDMO. We do cell therapy manufacturing for pharma companies as, uh, as a service and we've invented the uh, first uh, commercial scale cell therapy manufacturing platform that actually enables cell therapy manufacturing at very large scale and resolves this medical emergency. Mm -hmm. All right, now tell me, what is Cell Shuttle and what problem is it solving? So the Cell Shuttle is a fully automated robotic cell therapy manufacturing platform. It's about the size of uh, an Amazon van. Inside there are two industrial robots. It's functionally equivalent to about a hundred different benchtop instruments. What it enables is uh, true walk-away end-to-end automation of the entire cell therapy manufacturing process for up to 16 patients simultaneously. So it's really high throughput. And in this way, it enables the scalability required to meet the total patient demand and ultimately uh, provide access to uh, life-saving cell therapies for uh, all the patients that need access. Mm -hmm. Fabian, it's been an exciting few months for you. You closed a $255 million Series C and you're launching the first integrated development and manufacturing organization. Um, so tell me, why is this a differentiating factor and how does this compare to conventional contract development and manufacturing organizations? Uh, in total, we've raised $355 million in less than, two, uh, in less than four years. Uh, $255 million was indeed a blockbuster round. Uh, that's more money than other companies have raised in their IPO. A lot of companies at the moment seem to be raising flat rounds or down rounds, and uh, we raised $255 million at a significant step up in valuation. So very strong result, we're very proud of this. Also proud because uh, succeeded in uh, gaining Bristol Myers Squibb, one of our most important customers and partners, as an investor as well. We're now using this, uh, this capital to uh, deploy cell shuttles that I told you about in our own IDMO smart factories where we operate these machines to um, manufacture cell therapies at uh, large scale. To your question about how is integration a differentiating factor, think of these IDMO smart factories as uh, an industry 4.0 facility. There's about 100 robots in there, about uh, 5,000 benchtop instruments in terms of the equivalent capability. So we're getting very, very close to a lights off factory. Software is a big component of, uh, of all of this. In manual cell manufacturing facilities, just to give you an example, uh, they're producing around four to 500 pages of paper-based batch records for every individual patient. Now try and do that hundreds of thousands of times a year. We're auto-generating all of this paperwork uh, in a fully, uh, fully electronic manner. So uh, there's a lot of components to facilitate all of this from a hardware integration perspective, software integration perspective, and it enables a lot of things, uh, amongst other things, the high degree of automation and standardization enables us to accelerate expansion to other markets for pharma companies because we can check transfer uh, a cell therapy manufacturing process from a facility in the US to a facility in Europe or Asia at the click of a button, bring that tech transfer time in by multiple years. And every time of on patent production time is worth billions of dollars and uh, saves countless lives. All right, so in addition to the fundraise, you've signed partnerships agreements to automate cell therapy manufacturing. Um, tell, me, tell me who you've partnered with. I know you mentioned Bristol-Meyer. Um, and how do you see these partnerships impacting these developers and their ability to meet patient demand? It's been a very busy two quarters for us. We signed up a lot of partners, not all of them are public, 
But uh, what I can tell you is uh, the announcement of uh, the partnership with Bristol Myers Group, where they're giving us a key CAR T cell therapy asset to automate a transfer onto the cell shuttle. Uh, shortly thereafter, we announced the partnership with Lyell for their lead CAR T cell therapy program for solid tumors. Then we announced a second uh, partnership with Bristol Myers Group for a second CAR T cell therapy program followed by the announcement of the partnership with Cabaletta for their cell therapy program as well. So uh, it's been one after the other, and that's just what's public. What does this mean? Why are, why are companies, biotechs and pharmas partnering with us? Ultimately, uh, partnering with Solaris enables pharma companies to meet the total patient demand for cell therapies uh, globally, and uh, that's, that's what we're up to. And that's a big boon for, for patients, of course, who are now getting access to the cell therapies that have the potential to cure them from their disease. All right, and finally, tell me, Fabian, how can other cell therapy developers partner with Solaris and gain access to the cell shuttle? Well, the, the primary partnership program that uh, we've been recruiting for is the Technology Adoption Partnership Program, or TAP. Uh, in this program, we're taking a manual cell therapy process and we're automating and transferring that onto the, onto the cell shuttle, demonstrating that we can run this specific cell therapy process from a particular customer on the cell shuttle, meeting all of the critical quality attributes. Um, we're actually going to sunset this partnership program at the end of Q1 2024 in favor of um, more traditional contract manufacturing supply agreements that are larger in scope and typically include uh, the contract manufacturer uh, supporting clinical trials. So we'll be proceeding into uh, the clinic uh, in uh, late 2024, early 2025 with the first customers and do larger scoped deals in, in that realm. Mm -hmm. All right, well, Fabian, fantastic to talk with you. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk today. Wonderful, uh, thank you for having me, it was a pleasure. Mm -hmm.